I've seen too many times over the years where folks get excited about technology or new ways of working or the new and latest shiny thing. And the bit they forget to focus on is the business why. So they get in robots because someone robots are hot. They want the data strategy because data is hot. And then they jump into this in a very small way without actually thinking, you know, uh, I want to start small, but I have a massive program, a massive idea in my head, and I'll scale really fast to get to that. Instead, they just rush to do the latest hot thing. Weeks go by, months go by, the team get more and more off track in terms of the project's probably not delivering and it's not going to build up to something huge. After they've gone down the road so far, and this is a mixture of investment of time and money and emotion and probably pride as well in there. And then they may have sold this new shiny thing to the leadership in the organization. And maybe it was one of the executive team who sold it to the other team and pride of fear of getting, you know, failing or maybe getting sacked gets in the way of actually making the right decision, which is always, uh, no matter how often or how long a project takes, is to take time out to stop and reflect. And I don't just mean here when we're talking about agile or digital or whatever ways of working, doing an agile retrospective. That's key. That's important for every single project. But I think you need an independent review, and this is something I've practiced for years, including in my own projects, where I've brought in an independent expert who looks at the projects and says, are we actually on or off track? Is it delivering what it's meant to deliver? And this isn't about looking at a program where you're going to kick the people or encourage them uh, not to be truthful and honest and maybe wrap it all up and move in a different direction. If you do do that, by the way, and you set your team up to independently review but catch out teams, then you're not really going to encourage this new way of working, which for me is very much about trying to do things. Yes, you will fail, but you need to do a lot of stuff in a digital age to learn. You need to do it, reflect on it, learn your lessons, move forward. So this is very much about slowing down every so often or on a regular and planned basis, really looking at what's happening, really determining whether it's delivering or not for the business. If it's not helping that team reset and refocus, or if it's not accepting the fact that it has failed in the nice way, and by that I mean I call it negative learning. You've done something that hasn't worked, you move forward in a different direction, but you codify the knowledge so that others don't make that same mistake. And you take that knowledge into a future project when maybe now wasn't the right time, but that forwards learning will allow you to grow at a later date. We have to accept there will be failure, but we need to put in those stops and checks that allows us to not waste more money or more time currently when we're trying to digitally transform our organization.